Hello, everybody. Welcome to Holden Sources. Welcome to a brand new Friday show. It's uh, HH, that's me, Simon Holden, v the Judge Judge Pottage in a tipping challenge that of the ages that we'll do every Friday. There he is. Found him guilty already. And you're very, very welcome. It's the first time you have watched Holden's Horses. Now, I thought that was pretty impressive, the new graphic there. It could all be downhill all the way here. But it's not just a tipping challenge of the ages. What we have as well is a very, very special offer. Now, the judge works for Goodwin Racing, Bet Goodwin. And if you want a very special matched £10 bet, you can get one by opening an account with the promo code SH10. Not SH something else, two letters, SH10. Now, Judge, welcome to Holden's Horses. We've known each other a while, and I'm really looking forward to our little Friday battle. So welcome. Tell us all about Beck Goodwin, and tell us why we need to get this account. Well, we um, do lots of special offers that um, you know offer free bets um, up to £100. And uh, if your horse gets beat a nose, um, if you get beaten um, under half a length in a chase... Also, by 50 to 1 shot or bigger, which can be pretty frustrating. And also, the biggest one, if you're in the lead, jump in the last and fall over, you get your money back as a free bet. So, they're, they're the sort of offers that we do. We obviously best odds guaranteed as well. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to cover two races per week. And we're going to have one selection in each race, both big Saturday races. More times than not, they'll be on uh, ITV or certainly on... Uh, on Sky Racing or Racing UK, so there'll be plenty of uh, options for you to see them, and we'll have a running total where we are. And of course, we both want to win, but you, the audience of Holden Sources, will be the winner to have these two great racing minds marking your card. But we're both desperate to win, and of course, get yourself into that account at Bet Goodwin with SH10 as your code. You'll see a link below where you can click. Through and also before we start, my HFC club email at my HFC club. There is a link there for people to join with free selections every day. And judge you boys at Goodwin will be glad I didn't put my lucky on with you last Saturday. Two big winners in a place and a non runner. So it was, uh, there would have been, uh, well, scraps on the table left by the time I finished with you boys yeah, last Saturday. Bringing you to justice. Yeah. You would have had to pawn that little hammer. You would have been walking home on your own. Right. What we're going to do this week to kick us off is, well, we're going to do a couple of easy races. No, sir, we are not. We're going to do the Grand Sefton at Aintree tomorrow over the big national fences. And with an international flavour, the judge, the man who stays at the Jury's Hotel whenever he's in London, he, we are going to do the Breeders' Cup Classic, which actually is in the early hours of Sunday morning. But for the purposes of our contest, we're going to say it's Saturday. So there we are. Right, Judge, we're going to start over the big fences at Aintree. It's 2.15. It's a class two, two mile five. Well, there is nowhere like the national course. It's, uh, well, it is unique. And this is one of those two other races of the year when we see... Uh, those big fences it's going to be live on ITV. Um, are you an Aintree fan? Oh, massive. I love it. Yeah, you can't, you can't beat the national fences. And yeah, uh, you point. nearly always want a horse that's got good experience there, normally. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. not so much as in recent so. years. Um, now, Judge, you're a guest of an away welcome guest on my channel. So I'm going to let you go first. That's very kind of you. I am a very kind man. I don't know what other people say uh, <laughs> against that, but give us your idea of the winner and a little bit of why we need to get on. No worries. I'll be as quite brief as I can, but I've, I love these kind of races, these sort of cavalry charges. And I, I obviously I start at the front end of the market and then to work out where you know where the real value is. Um, I don't particularly like the favourite, uh, the current favourite. Time to get up. Um, yeah. And I'm, I like Cat Tiger, but bless him, I couldn't have the jockey, not at those prices. He's, so really, you, it's a good race to have a bet in straight away when you don't like the front end of the market. Exactly. Um, 
I, I had it between two. I had it between um, probably a good win. Ambassador has ridden the hills quite a bit. Gavin Sheehan, Sheehan, he's ridden them Hogan's Heights. I did like that, but the value is just shrinking out of that. So I'm going for the top horse here, Spyglass Hill. It's an Irish challenger to start off with, which is a massive positive. Um, so you're coming over here, they're sort of well handicapped. I like its prominent run style. Um, it's, it's normally up there up in the front. It's got a useful three pound claimer riding. Um, it's back to his optimum trip. This is the first time he's been back to his optimum trip, certainly in a handicap. Um, he's, he had one run, la um, I think it was last year. Yeah, I've written it down here. Yeah. So got Garan Park. He beat the likes of Milan Native um, on the ropes and off we go. And Milan Native next time out, one at the Cheltenham Festival. So mm. for me, I think he's, um, he's a funny one. He's a general 10 to 1 chance. Um, I think like with these fences, you know, Simon, if you pop the first couple, you've got, to I know they're smaller than they were, but they still, they don't like it. They don't like it. You'll know after two fences if they like them or not. Yeah, yeah. Um, he can be, he can hit one, but generally he's quite a good jumper. And I think at 10 to 1, I quite like him. Excellent. So the judge is, <laughs> the hammer comes out. The judge's selection is number one from the De Bromhead Yard at Spyglass Hill. You can see some 11s generally about, so it's a decent price. Right, well, I'm going to take him on. By the way, Judge, I have to say, during these lockdown years, many people have had uh, long waiting lists to get to the hairdressers, but yours is the like, longest. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've got that but, trim. <laughs> yeah, unless you want to join ZZ Top, they ever get back together. Right, let's have a look. A yard I follow at Aintree is the Peter Bowen yard here. Has many, many successes there. He knows what style of horse is needed. I think number eight, Matt Totty, is a very lively outsider here. Ridden by James Bowen, his son. Now, this has got a touch of class. You need that little touch of class round here. Uh, usually, I'd be looking for a pure uh, proven entry character. But I think they're a bit thin on the ground in this, and I don't think there's any value in them. So I'm going to take a chance that Mac Totty, um, who had a warm up for this 36 days ago when he ran behind Pilbara, uh, Paddock Pickers said he would come on a mile for that. This horse finished last year uh, with four runs, second pulled up, first second. Now that proves to me that he can throw in a stinker and then win. So I'm not bothered about the fact that I think he was having a run round last time. I think this has been the aim. And I think the idea will be to come back at the national meet if he takes to the fences. Off just 11 stone, one of a marker, 135. I think Matt Totty, available at 25 to one, is a very, very lively outsider. And I'm going to take the judge on on week one with a biggie so that we've got a, a 11 to one and a 25 to one. So... Uh, get your pens and papers out. Number one, Spyglass Hill for the judge. And I'm number eight, Mac Totty. Uh, two biggies there. Now, of course, were you to take that offer tomorrow on the uh, Goodwin, you could, of course, have one tenner on one and have your freebie match tenner on the other and double up. Absolutely. Play up the winnings in the evening. Just, exactly. to, just one extra thing there, so as well. We're open a bit later on um, well, tonight and tomorrow night. So we can accommodate them. So we're up to one o'clock. Excellent. Uh, and of course, if one of them wins, you might go out and not come home till Tuesday at those prices. Right. <laughs> That's right. It's one of the biggest races of the year. It is the Breeders' Cup Classic. And I'll change hats. Oh, how about that, eh? How about that? I, I, feel, I feel a little underdressed here, Judge. Uh, you know, you're... <laughs> He's got 100 to 1 winner there. I didn't think he could look any any uh, stranger, but he's managed it. So, Uncle Sam there. Now, this is at 20 to 1, but we, you know, by then, by that time of night, it's still Saturday night. So, yeah. it used to be the most valuable race in the world. I believe that the Saudi race has topped it now. But uh, without getting political, of course, I feel this is still the number one. Now, we have a superstar. Uh, a full-grown American superstar in the shape of the favourite Knicks go. Now, what I can say is there's a little bit of negativity out in the American uh, media about this horse, about some of its work on the track. Of course, in America, for these big meetings, the horses work 
publicly on the track itself. You can get a real look at them. Um, I'm just sensing there, Judge, that some of the confidence is draining out of this one. Now, I'm going to go first, as you did last time. I'm not that much of a gentleman that I'll give you first dib foe. Now, this race has bags and bags of pace, bags of front uh, runners. It could be a real burner. Now, if it is, I believe that Art Collector, coming from the back, a hold-up horse, could pick up the pieces and uh, score a, a, a victory here. And at odds of 10 to 1, I'm going to take Art Collector as the value. I'm not going with the front of the market. I'm thinking that what, if you're going to join me on this one, what we need is three or four to cut their own throats, to go too fast, and to pick up the uh, pace, uh, pick up the pieces on the outside. So Art Collector for me to win one of the great races at general odds of around ten to one. Art Collector now judge. Well, that's interesting. You stole a bit of my thunder. You, I can tell you've been studying, Simon. Well, um, I wouldn't go that far. I, I, I've had a good look at the race, and like you, I, the front runners in this race are Nick's Go and um, the, the Bob Baffert horse that might be on medication or it might not is on the yeah. outside. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, the yeah. front two of them are, you know, destined to go into a pace duel. I'm hoping one or two others, pay, you know, so there is loads of pace because I'm, I'm like you, I'm going to go for a horse that's going to be almost certainly going to be at the back, or rather it wasn't last, but um, at the back end of the field. I like to essential quality here. Um, I yes. mean, it's um, it's bang solid. It's got one one defeat was um, in the Kentucky Derby when it got bumps to come out the stalls and it was wide and everything went, went wrong for it. Um, I I think it's a bit unfortunate not to be unbeaten this season. It's got um, it's got the two one beating of my other selection, which nearly was in my selection, was Hot Road Charlie. I think these two are going to be fighting the finish out down like they have done before. Yeah. Um, I just I I just see this horse um, essential quality being bang there and if it's bang there with a furlong to go i don't think anything will outstay it because as a getting back to the favorites well that's going up in trips so i just if that's i can just see that wilting and now hopefully our one's fighting the finish out near the finish It'd be fantastic so if they were bring ordering the game yeah <laughs> exactly guilty as charged well yeah. i mean yeah i mean this this entire meeting could be sponsored by lloyd's pharmacy the amount of like uh Medication is going to be going on there with the old. Uh, I've ordered my Lasix in for the evening just so uh, I can go Apparently, they, they, they've stopped it this year, son. Apparently, they've stopped the oh, Lasix, but uh, yeah, oh. so, right. but yeah, I, I, well. I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Well, there we go. It's the Breeders' Cup Classic. The judge goes for essential quality. You can see some three to one knocking about there in the village, and I'm going for our collector at odds of. 10 to 1. So, there we go. Week 1. Battle lines are drawn, Judge. Uh, it's going to be luck. a fantastic... Yeah, good luck. Good luck to everybody who's going to play along with us. And, of course, get yourselves on Bet Goodwin. You've heard about all the bonuses available. And use that promo code SH10. Get yourself a £10 matched bet. Well, Judge, if mine don't win, I hope yours do. But I hope mine oh, do I more. Uh, so <laughs> we shall reconvene next week and go at it again on two more races. Welcome to Holes and Sources. Thank you for joining Thank in, mate. Up. Thank you to everybody at Bet Goodwin for all the help in setting this up. We hope you enjoy the show. I will be back on Sunday morning. Uh, get yourself in HFC Club. And always, if you want big winners, follow the judge. Follow. Horses. Horses.